bubble bath. Bubble bath. Bubble 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 baths. They only take bubble baths. If you need me, I'll be in the bubble bath. Bubble 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 baths. Mizutsune, the bubble fox. unique and deadly monsters there ever was and part of the fated four who include Astalos who goes Gameth who goes and Glavinus who goes Yes, indeed. They are quite the quartet of creatures, and Mizutsune is by far and away the most fascinating amongst them. And since we have just spent, well, the last couple weeks murdering him over and over and over again in the Rise demo, I feel like it's only fair that we give him his due. Go over his lore, his ecology, his little tidbits, secrets, and quirks, and really delve down into this squeaky clean Leviathan. I, I mean, seriously, it, it really is only fair. Like, this is basically Mizutsune's entire existence right now. <laughs> The rules. All oh, 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 oh. monsters will be beaten senseless by every able Hunter in the demo. So, Mizutsune, a worshipped, almost legendary monster in Yukimo Village, where it is native to the nearby Misty Peaks. But it is by no means restricted to there. It likes to be wherever there is a lot of rivers, where there is a lot of fishing to be done. Its primary food source, it is a very, very patient fisherman, hovering just above the water's head still before a sudden dot. And like a spear down into the water, well, the fish doesn't even know what's hit him. That's why Area 13 on our Shrine Ruins is such a favorite location. That little pond at the back full of fish is essentially an all-you-can-eat buffet for our bubbly friend. And this truly terrifically terrestrial lifestyle then lends Mizutsune some physical adaptations that other leviathans don't share. Namely, very developed legs, but more chiefly than that, claws. They are long, and they are hooked on the end. And no, they're not designed to sink into the flesh of a would-be aggressor, though quite capable of that they are. They are designed to indeed sink into the flesh of the earth, and by that I mean anchor into the ground and provide a pivot point, a rock to which to spin around and control oneself while, I don't know, maybe you're uncontrollably sliding due to some sort of slippy, maybe soap-like fluid? Which, of course, is what we should talk about, because the dance of a Mizutsune is as mesmerizing as it is the last thing you will see. A specially evolved leviathan with a sleek, lithe body, Mizutsune can secrete a peculiar fluid that covers its foes in immobilizing bubbles. Once its foe's movement is impaired, it closes in with spry, dance-like movements. Oh yes, the bubble fox, the bubble dance, the bubble, um, prance? At least it would if prance was in the demo, what the hell? So Mizutsune's body then secretes this substance, soap-like, and then when it is agitated, when it is lathered up by the bristly, quite harsh and coarse purple fur, it is now very, very slippy soap. And uh, this, well, does act like soap. You can literally clean yourself with it. In fact, regularly, hunters sell on vials of the stuff to be used for just that purpose around a village. It's a very, very useful substance indeed. But for the Mizutsune, it is the most useful because it allows it to, well, slide around, have unparalleled mobility. It is a simultaneous genius mechanism of offense and defense that plays into everything this wyvern does. Firstly, the bubbles itself, as they travel slowly, gracefully, yet purposely through the air, 
can coat anything it comes into contact with with this substance. And if you're not built to move while covered in it, like Mizutsune is, well, it just becomes a mess. You slip and slide around the place, you can't control your limbs, you can barely control your weapons, though it should be of note that the Mizutsune in the old world, their slippiness seems to be much more potent, at least on a hunter preventing them from even drawing their weapon, preventing them from even moving with any kind of deliberacy. Whereas the Mizutsune in the Shrine Ruins, the Mizutsune of this strange land of Rise, well, you can still draw your weapon, you can still have some control. So definitely, uh, the uh, bubble mixture seems to be regional when it comes to Mizutsune. Slight variations, perhaps based on diet or locale or other environmental factors, which is quite the little uh, fascinating uh, difference across the species. Now, on top of the bubbles applying this quite crippling substance that at worst leaves you completely helpless as a Mizutsune strikes or at best makes it incredibly difficult to defend yourself at all, it also is used by Mizutsune to see the world, albeit in a fairly limited manner. Imagine the bubble network around a Mizutsune, the soap on the floor, the bubbles in the air. Imagine them as uh, threads on a spider's web. When one is touched, even ever so slightly, the vibrations, although to us seemingly imperceptible, invisible, to the spider, it's quite the dinner! Dinner! Oh my god, go kill it! And that, you know, gets them all excited. It's the same with Mizutsune. Except in Mizutsune, this whole setup is located in the fins adorning its face. Three on each side, increasing in size, they act as little dishes to really hone in and read vibrations. If that bubble pops, and it pops on a living thing, well, that will feed back to the Mizutsune, ah, I know where you are, which allows it to essentially sense the world all around it through the magic of soap, and not just its peepers, which is a fascinating little adaptation. So when a Mizutsune is asleep or in a somewhat vulnerable position, it will just leave pools and puddles and a vast little network of suds and soap across the ground, and it acts as this almost like laser tripwire system that you have to bypass without touching once, or you will alert the Mizutsune. Further than that then, despite having a slightly weakened effect on hunters, the Mizutsune of the Shrine Ruins can apply this bubble, this bubble blight, to themselves, completely coating their body to a level that isn't normal, that isn't just their natural soapiness. This makes them slide somewhat uncontrollably, but the thing is they are adept at controlling it. They can have explosively fast serpentine-like movements that allow them to really flank aggressors and send them reeling with slams of its body propelled by the coiling and uncoiling of its serpentine-like form. Though inherently Mizutsune is relative to its size, and even appearance, not the most powerful animal, but because of its bubble setup, because of this soapy defense mechanism, it doesn't need to be. It has a built-in way to make sure that it gains the edge in combat via these secretions. Mizutsune then are also very expressive animals. They are quite intelligent too, and normally they are very calm, and they really don't mind other creatures being near them if they don't pose a clear threat. They find it quite amusing sometimes. However, you may ask then, well, why are we murdering them all? Well, the thing is, Mizutsune, during the mating season, at least the males, go somewhat, you know, berserk. And this berserkness, if it gets too close to a village or a human population or a trade route, can cause a lot of damage and loss of life, and so the guild sanctions a hunt to stop this particular one. The males are much more colourful, their fins larger, and indeed the fins are part of the attraction process. The females drawn to uh, the males that have the most colour and the largest of them. And indeed these fins are part of Mizutsune's expression flushing red when angered and softening and tinging blue when feeling a little bit down, a little bit exhausted, a little bit beaten up. The fins themselves too flattening to their head like 
very much a scared animal's ears might. And honestly, in this state, it's, it's kind of hard not to feel sorry for them. Oh, oh, it hurts so much, please. Please just stop. I just want to propagate my species. But Mizutsune's adaptations don't end there. Much like a snake, their teeth are curved backwards, so that once it bites down into something in order to, well, free yourself, you would have to rip huge chunks of flesh. This aids them in their fishing, much like a fishing hook curling round into the poor, unfortunate, slippery sod. Well, that's what the jaw achieves. The jaw can also then dislocate again like a snake and slowly engulf and swallow prey whole, likely to combat the fact that a lot of fish in the monster world are very, very large and some even as sharp as literal weapons and really you just want to get that swallowed, not be chewing on it and just have a good time there. It really does make the whole fishing process very, very much easier. And from this now, perhaps a little bit more unsettling mouth, we have highly pressurized jets of water. Essentially, just imagine being able to spit really, really hard that it can punch dents into rock. That is what the Mizutsune do. It's what the Plesioth do as well. It's a common trait amongst many water familiar creatures. Water sacks store the liquid and then imagining two huge hands just squeezing it really hard, rocketing it out in a highly pressurized form. A very effective way to cut down smaller foes and generally make them have a lot harder time at getting close to you. This then is the Mizutsune, an elegant creature, one of normally good temperament, that specializes in a way of fighting, a way of being, this soapy substance unlike anything else yet discovered in the Monster Hunter world. It doesn't rely on brute strength, it doesn't rely on overwhelming elemental force, it simply relies on being so slippy it's faster than you, while you're so slippy you can't move in response, and really that is quite the effective way to go about surviving. Now, Mizutsune does have a variation, a deviant, and deviants, while devious, <laughs> are also well created due to a single freak occurrence, whether it be a genetic mutation not seen before, a radical exposure to something unbefore seen in an environment, or an encounter with a hunter that has left the monster twisted and full of hate. In the case of Soul Seer Mizutsune, well, it's the Hunter Encounter. An encounter that left it all but blind, its eyes ravaged, scarred, and forever closed. Yet, it is not left crippled, it is more than capable, very much more than a normal Mizutsune, of holding its own and even competing with lesser Elder Dragons. How this Mizutsune gets abroad, as you may guess from the Sol Seer, is from this bubble sight, this vibration detection, but turned up to 11, an absolutely storm of bubbles permanently surrounding it looming. Until a hunter touches it, it's relatively calm, attacking at random, slow, deliberate. But as soon as you make that first pop, pop, then the storm doth come. And this Mizutsune has elongated claws even further. They are deadlier, it is older, it is wiser, it is generally more developed, and it also has the ability to impart some of its bubbles with explosive soap. Don't ask me how it does that, it's one of these cases where we'll just have to accept that it can, and well, on contact with a pop, they absolutely careen hunters away. Even normally, the bubbles popping, the slight change of pressure as the air rights itself is enough to hurt creatures, send those shockwaves through a body, hurting organ and bone, but it's quite light with normal bubbles. The explosive version, though, is very much 
more damaging and one that should be avoided at all costs. The Soul Seer has even learnt that some of its bubbles tend to have special properties. The red ones which raise attack, well, they act as an almost sharpener to weapons. The part of the bubble substance hones edges. It will learn then that it can apply this to its own claws to render them even deadlier. It is a very tricky, clever foe and it is very, very good at what it does. This Mizutsune isn't berserk in a breeding season then, it's simply just, well... He's too dangerous to be left alive! There you go guys, that is all you need to know about Mizutsune, how it works, how it fits into the ecosystem. A very up there monster, though by no means at the top of any given food chain, but it's on the level of something like a Zenoga or a Tigrex, you know, a solid tier 2 Apexy type along with the rest of the Fated Four. Quite peaceful, a devout fisherman, and will simply defend its right to mate as we come a-stabbing, a-hunting, and a-blasting. Oh, yes, indeed. So hopefully the rest of the Fated Four does join Mizutsune in Rise. We don't need to really talk too much about the gameplay because we've all been hunting Mizutsune now, and this version of Mizutsune is definitely the most potent that there has been. It even has a few little tricks from the Soul Seer, which is very, very cool to see. In any case, let me know which monster returning to Rise you'd like to know all about next, but for now, like you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I will see you soon. A good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.